Good morning. The prompt today is coffee and I'm going to get started on that in a second. I've got a few papers here that I really like that I think I might use. This is just one I've been working on this whole time. This one and this one. And I also have this paper where I actually set my coffee cup on it when I'm editing videos or something, if I'm editing in the morning or looking at email or whatever, and it actually is a coffee ring, so I might use that. And then I have my leftover coffee from this morning that I didn't finish that I've got sitting here. So those are the things I'm thinking of using. That's all I know for sure. Oh, I, I have some washing tape I might use. And also, yesterday I showed you some coffee and tea staining I did on some fabric. I also did some papers. The papers are sitting here in this folder, so if you stick around at the end of the video, I'll show you the papers. So I'm going to get the timer started in just a second. Let me get my self set up here. No-no line. We don't want to go below the no-no line. <laughs> I need a paintbrush to stick in my coffee, and there's a hair in my coffee. <laughs> it's been sitting here since early, so... I didn't drink it with hair. Let's get started. glue stick. She's got a new one. Oh well, we'll just keep going. Thank you. 
Oops. The no no line. I went below it. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Glue down my coffee name. All right, I'm gonna dry this, but I'm not gonna count the time. I've got 12 seconds left. So let me dry this real quick and then I'll come back and I'll hold it up and let you see it closer. Okay, this is almost dry, but not quite. If the darn glue stick didn't keep falling out of there, <laughs> I would have had more time and I would have played with this a little bit more, but the glue stick is at the bottom and you know how that goes when you start getting at the bottom of the barrel, it starts falling out. So I used different stuff than I had planned. I thought about using the flour and this, but I was gonna use this here in this area, but I changed my mind. So I like it, it looks cute. For five minutes? Oh my goodness. If I had more time, I'd go stitch around this on the sewing machine with some brown thread or something, maybe another time. And writing left-handed is not my forte, but <laughs> I like the messy look. All right, let's look at the papers real quick, and then I'll say goodbye until tomorrow. Oh, let's put it there. That's fine, that's okay. All right, this is a file folder that I stuck everything in, and I messed with the file folder. I dripped coffee and tea and laid things down to dry in the file folder. So there'll be all kinds of marks in the file folder. Coffee grounds and where I laid tags and papers and things like that. So this is really cool. I'll use this for maybe the, a booklet or something at some point. These are the little reinforcers at the top of the tags. They started coming off, but that's okay because they were so wet for so long but that's all right. So these tags started off as manila tags. This one started off as a white tag, and you can see the white, and that's the staining I got. I love that, and I left some of the white on it because I wanted a little bit of variation. Some more small tags. This is just a ticket stub type tag or checking in your coat or dry cleaning or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what you call these, but that's what that is. <laughs> This one has writing on it, and this was a white tag with black print, so now it's completely colored. And these were white or manila tags. I kept the strings too. So I did a lot of tags. This is a piece of the blueprint for a house that an architect drew up, and I dyed that. This is my dad's from years and years ago. This is from the Speedway in Homestead. My dad lived just close enough to the Speedway where you could open the door when they were actually racing and could hear the racing. And when I'd go visit him, sometimes I'd drive over to the Speedway and just tool around and look around. And somehow I wound up with these, and so I just decided to dye one, but I love the color that came out. And this is just a tea bag that I set down on my paper. And something else, an Office Depot time card, I guess. Time cards you can buy from Office Depot. And I love how this happened. And this is more of the house plans. Lots of color on there, I love it. A ledger piece of paper. This is a piece of handmade paper, and I really love this, the way it turned out. This was a little bit like beigey color. It's hard to tell now, but I really stained that hard. Another one of those. This is some music paper. I love where it marks like that. I love that. Another tag. More tags. This is just uh, watercolor paper, and 
I love how this turned out. I just kept fiddling with it until I got a bunch of cool marks. This is a printout of a letter. Actually, it's half of a letter. I put two on the page. It's this and this are the same. And I really love how this turned out. And this is just cheap copy paper. This is just the copy paper that comes out of your copy machine or your fax machine. And this is just a um, free graphics from Graphics Fairy. Same with this. I put two images on here of butterflies. Same thing, copy paper. You can see it's ripping and oh, I love, I love that, I love that. I love how it's ripping. Another piece of ledger paper. I love this. And what's this? This is just a piece of drawing paper. The kind of drawing paper I always show you that I use that comes from my grocery store. And I just let it be in there and get all different colors. The lights are so bright, it's hard for me to tell what you're seeing, but I think you're getting the gist of it. And then the folder. And so that's it. I just wanted to show you the papers. I showed you the fabrics yesterday, and I really enjoyed doing these. That's it. Maybe I should give you one more close-up of this as it dries. I really like this. I really am tempted to go to the sewing machine. I had 24 seconds left. With 14 seconds, I forgot how many seconds I had. In fact, I think I am gonna do it. It's just gonna be black thread though. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I did it pretty quick. So that's all I'm gonna do. I would like to make the coffee time darker, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna let it go. All right guys, I will see you again soon. So thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.